Hello, welcome to my blog Edis English Literature. I am Arjun Dunde. Today we are going to read a beautiful word poem by Edward Thomas, The Owl. When it comes to the matter of war poetry, we often come to the poems of uh, Alfred Wayne and Brooks poetry particularly, but there is uh, Edward Thomas which is more neglected one by critics. Why so or it is it justified so? Uh, and that's a, a notable question that often pops up in our mind. But if we dive deep into the poems of Edward Thomas, we will understand the parts very uh, much that he is such a person in love with that beauty of nature, the flowing and uh, concurrence of his likes and dislikes during the first world war as i am talking uh, he served in the army and was killed in action uh, in around 1917 composed a few beautiful poems and all those poems can have a deep connotation a beautiful meaning of rendering towards life and towards uh, the creation of this world which enlightens the simple meaning, the just for life. As I am talking, uh, Thomas' um, own career as a writer is quite limited by few years. Um, in fact, um, uh, four or five years he died in 39 years of age and during that uh, period of time only about 5 or 6 years is very fruitful literally career of his. Uh, Robert Frost, his American friend, uh, is uh, had a friendship with him and a period between these two creative writers and it was Robert Frost who first recognized that how beautiful Thomas' writing was and he, a few of the prose that has been shared um, by Thomas to Robert Frost which uh, is a kind of a poetry and which stunned Robert Frost and that kind of recognition is the first and forefront thing that Thomas as a creator, as a writer has been recognized and in later half of years or two uh, his creations or unpublished poems were analyzed and all of his volume of writing encompasses simple thing that he is a great writer a lover of nature a beautiful rendering of his emotions love and just for life that i have already pointed out he has uh, beautiful prose writings uh, which is quite poetic in its rendering, the heart of England, the woodland life, the south country and all these are so pleasing, so pleasing to read even now that we can better look into the English uh, country life and uh, a sensitive uh, awakening to life and that's we can find out in this project. In later halves of his collected poems, all these poems also encompasses that emotions, such for beauty, such for life. When we go to read uh, Edward Thomas' poetry, help searching quality or that sort of introspection uh, is a quite a newer one. As if the older and newer uh, versification of that age, he makes a medium or a bridge, a kind of a bridge. And Edward Thomas' writing, which primarily is a personal one, uh, encompasses that subject of love that uh, that is also the um, the fear that we also passes through in the dark lanes and doubts of his time and the permanent moodiness of the nature that it has um, 
he pins down all those emotions in his writing. In every poet, be it birds, flowers, hills, sky, mist, streams, everywhere, in the landscape, in totality, in, in everywhere, Thomas' poems uh, simply creates a mood and that mood is Edwardian's own and that is a perfection, that is a beauty which is itself a, a stream of versification, a stream of uh, rhythm. Uh, the pieces of bard has attracted him um, throughout his uh, lifetime or even uh, in many of the poems he has encompassed all those feelings or preferences in his writing. In his collected poems which was published in 1920, uh, there we can find a references of sparrows, cuckoos, night angles, march birds, swallows, pigeon, thras, everywhere those birds are chirping and making such a noises that even in Edward Thomas poetry we can find out the glimpse of wells, a glimpse of uh, English uh, soil and its nature, but through them he has a definite message, the message of love and that love is also accompanied by some fear and doubt that the uh, passing years of the during the world wars uh, encompasses through and every man experiences through. Now coming to the poem, uh, the owl um, that appears in the collected poems uh, by Edward Thomas uh, is a beautiful poem. Uh, the beauty in its uh, poetry is uh, not only uh, that it tells a mixed reaction of that age that we have already said, the Victorian notion as well as Georgian. Uh, concept of life as well as the turmoil of this, that time which has the boiling world words. So the poem Owl is a war poem in that sense that it encompasses the feelings of doubt. It encompasses a dramatic situation when each and every human being uh, even in the closest view of the nature has something uh, uncanny or mysterious uh, happening all throughout the world and which is beyond understanding and the owl the wise bird has something to say um, or through Edward Thomas the owl has something to say or something to share and that sharing knowledge is uh, nothing new but that sharing knowledge is very much accurate in that uh, time of troubled uh, history of this world that is what we are doing is it right what is the war? Okay, what the destruction yielding any sort of result in the long run of humanity? That simple questions pop up when we finish the poem, the hour, consisting of uh, 16 lines. It is divided into four stanzas, and each of the four stanzas are having four lines each. Um, and uh, if we search where the owl is, what he is doing. In, uh, in only but in the second stanza, there is in the last line, we can find out the name of the owl for once. But uh, that single mention of the owl does not make us bored because what the message the owl has uh, given to us is that it's melancholy cry. The message is quite clear the devastation and destruction of the world, the pity of the world due to the world war and how it is yielding uh, this world or leading this world into nowhere or nothingness. The owl wishes to say that uh, there is underlying uncertainty everywhere and this uncertainty uh, is not only in our philosophical way, uh, it is also in our body, in our body and soul. In fact, uh, as a complete person, as a complete uh, amalgamation of us, the doubt is everywhere and that doubt, uh, the owl's cry that symbolizes that doubt is uh, the wisest one because um, the owl has a final say or the wisdom uh, that we the world is leading to nowhere or the world is a vacuum one. The poet who escaped the war scene and somehow survived by some means 
and here the poem begins the text is very simple although but the meaning or the inner complexity of the poem as our mind downy like came hungry yet not starved cold it had hid within me that was probe and the north wind tired yet so that rested seemed the sweetest thing under the roof so the poet has the word poet has somehow escaped from the word scene and he was hungry he was starved he there was cold but it was not that sort of cold and that he was dying but is a, a little bit of food can survive his existence so uh, he was in search of uh, some uh, sweetest thing under a roof that means he was in search of shelter and then at the inn i had food fire and rest what the poet has wished uh, he got everything food fire rest and knowing how hungry cold tired was i all of the night was quite burned out except an owl's cry so in that night uh, as he got food as he got fire as he got rest all of his hunger all of his chilling cold all of his tiredness went away but that night was fruitful and he enjoyed that night except for one thing that is the hooting of the owl the owl started hooting and it was most melancholy cry that melancholy cry makes the poet uh, something uh, pessimistic something uh, thoughtful something philosophical on to concentrate upon the world citizen second out long and clear upon the hill no merry note no cause of merriment but one telling me plain that i escaped and others could not that night as i went it simply says the situation that poet has somehow escaped from the deadly sins of death but others could not it might be his fellow soldiers it might be the world community it might be every citizens who are heading towards world war devastations and salted was my food and my repose salted and sobered to by the bard's voice so that memory that melancholic thought that philosophical awakening made my um, day very bitter speaking for all who lay under the stars soldiers and poor unable to rejoice it remembered the poet um, that in the world uh, under the roof is luckiest few are having but there are plenty of soldiers who are dying under a open sky in the chilling night or many of the poor people uh, many of the world citizens are dying out of some devastating cold or uh, shortage of food that awakening that notion or that um, philosophical awakening made makes this particular note a representative poem of course uh, a very well uh, awakening um, concept of humanity or human awakening uh, when the backdrop of what is looming nuts whether in prose writing or verse making the thomas watts picture or his uh, the beautiful painting of the england uh, attracted our readers very much and the way he starts to narrate his tale makes a personal theme and uh, the characteristic of thomas is, uh, is itself its personal quality or personal attachment the owl is also that as if the poem begins as a Uh, telling of a story the way men suffer in the world through the mechanism of uh, phenomena as well as through the process of nature is the third noteworthy phenomenon that we often find in his poem but here the world that uh, we are facing the war is a mechanism of human being uh, war is nothing imposed by nature but it is a designing of some war mongers as soon as the word owl is mentioned in as we find in the um, eighth line or so meaning in a single strike and that that single strike is very important it says uh, uncertainty it says melancholy as well as it has a love the tone of the bard it tells about uncertainty of the near future it also melancholic but at once 
it is crying because he loves the humanity so that three features has been delivered here structure of the poem as well a mixture of new as well as old notes a big way of telling the suffering of humanity and that is the very personal way which is arresting every lines of this poem the straightforward way of drawing word pictures and uh, the brevity uh, a previous possible words uh, he has mentioned uh, the whole theme uh, and the information and the feeling that has been stored in every word is quite uh, attractive on me so owl is very interesting poem you can have uh, this poem easily available and you can read this poem and enjoy it to your heart's content so many of the poems or related articles where owls has something to say and please share here so that we can also understand better way what the owl says it's a comment Thank you. Bye-bye.